top of the levee in New Orleans, right about the Jefferson Parish County line and the Orleans County line. The levee is a natural or man-made built hill that basically keeps the water from the Mississippi River out of the city. Now levees can breach, they can break, they can be overtopped with high water or worse, like in the case of Katrina, they can have large openings that happen from erosion and from years of decay, causing the Mississippi River to come in and flood the entire city. So normally the levee is a protection system from the city. It's also where you can come up on top and they've made roadways for people to like walk or walk their dogs or bike ride. So it's become kind of something that the city really admires and uses for recreation purposes. Behind me, you see part of New Orleans and you see the road. And on the other side of the levee is an area known as the Batcher. Now the Batcher is the land between the Mississippi River and the levee. So it's also a legal term that is used when the water is low to name the land that's on that side. But there's a surprise in this Jefferson Parish, Orleans Parish line. Parker, can you take us there? Yeah. Yep, Parker, you did it again. We're up on top of the Thatcher and this is on the side of the levee that's closest to the Mississippi River. And behind us is one of the many houses that are built up here and they are literally built right on top of the Mississippi River with no protection from the river. These people technically built their house here on land that they did not purchase. How did they get built? Well, they go to the supply stores, they get all the supplies and they build them themselves. And there's about 12 of them now. Now, before the 1950s, there would have been over 100 houses up on the Batcher like this. But in the 1950s, they did a lot of levee work and expansion work, and that made most of the people move. But there's still about 12 houses here. Now, we call them houses, but I think they call them something else. What do they call them, Parker? Camps. Camps, that's right. They call them camps. We're going to show you a couple of those camps. Many, many years ago, it was fishermen and other people who lived off of the river who built their homes out here. They couldn't afford to build in the city, so they took this land. They would build the homes up on stilts so that the water would run freely up under their homes. By the Great Depression, they added a school and a store. Even though most of those homes have come down, the ones that remain are a combination of the shanties that used to be and modern, very useful homes. These people have no access to city water, our fire department, and they don't have access to homeowners insurance. Yet they do not consider themselves squatters, they are a full community. No one has ever been able to force them to leave. A local man who owns a lot of property on the other side of the levee has been in court for a long time to try to take his land back that he says he owns and his family owns on this side of the levee. He's been unable to do that because you see Roman law and English law were very different and in New Orleans they're all mixed together in a thing called the Napoleonic Code. One says that the land is public, the other says that the land is private, and because of that, it's been a court case ongoing for a long period of time, and he's been unable to get his land back. So until then, these people live back there, and they live basically off of the land. Um, for example, I mean, I wonder how they use their power, for example. How do, you, how do they get their power? Well, I'm thinking that's probably machines, like, um, I don't know, what would you call it? The little machines that they would hook up to their houses, do you know what they are? Generators, that's right. Leave it to the seven-year-old. Generators. They probably use generators for their power. But what I do know is that they love living here, and they don't feel like squatters. They feel like this is their land. And if you ask them about flooding and if they're worried about it, they will tell you that the people on the other side of the levee are more likely to flood than they are even right on the Mississippi River. So, with that being said, this is Open Doors with Deanna and... Open Doors with Parker. Right, and we are happy to bring you information about the Batcher. Have a good day. Bye.